Some animals are so bright and inviting that you want to automatically pet them. But not all of them can be touched that easily. Many creatures use venom and poison in their skin as a sort of self-defense mechanism. We're all aware of the poison dart frogs and other similar amphibians that are off limits to humans. So here are a few more that you've probably never heard of before. When it comes to camels, they're no stranger to the extreme conditions of the desert, but there are rare cases when even they die of unfortunate circumstances. Even then, you should never touch a camel that has died of the thirst in the desert. Because of how huge these creatures are, their bodies start to decompose from the inside out when they die. The bacteria inside them then start to produce gas, enough to fill up the whole body and make it bubble up like a balloon. Because of how high the pressure inside of their body is, even the slightest movement can cause the dead body to burst and spray the inside like paint. So if you ever happen to come across a rare situation like this, don't poke around, literally. Next up, we have the kissing bug. While it might sound like a cute insect that has something to do with smooches, the truth is, this kissing bug is a critter that should never be touched or even squashed. This conical-shaped bug often carries the virus T. cruzi in their bodies, and sometimes in their pieces. This parasite that they carry can cause Chagas disease. Usually, kissing bugs are found around the mouth, which explains their name. Once they bite you, the itching can be so bad that often people scratch so hard their skin breaks. As soon as their skin breaks, the wound gets infected quite easily. These little buggers are a lot like bed bugs and fill up like balloons when they suck your blood. If your house is clean and nowhere near South America, Central America, and in the southern states of the US, then you're good to go. Now let's take a look at this furry and fuzzy critter called the pus moth. Although it looks like an insect made of felt and thread, it's not as soft as you would think. Their long, silky hair is different and attractive, but once it even lightly rubs against a person's skin, they're in big trouble. They have venomous hair on their bodies, which become embedded upon contact. A few seconds after, the affected place starts to burn and a rash forms. More susceptible people might even experience swelling, abdominal pain, and even shock. They're not just defensive when they're in the adult phase. Even caterpillars are super alert all the time. They strike a defensive pose when they're disturbed and wave their twin tails around. They might even squirt formic acid at the attacker if needed. Overall, just stay away from these winged enemies. You see what this guy is doing here? Well, don't do that. That's because the blue ringed octopus is filled to the brim with poison. Its venom contains a chemical called tetrodotoxin that paralyzes muscles the moment it's injected into a victim. Much like other octopuses, this one has a beak and secretes through its salivary glands. The worst part is, these creatures are so incredibly tiny that you might not even see what poisoned you. The paralysis these creatures cause is a very peculiar one. The victim can hear everything, but they can never respond. Unfortunately, there is no antivenom. The only way to combat the venom is immediate medical help. If you're ever in Australia, look out for blue rings and stay away from them. Next up, we have the infamous jellyfish. We all know not to touch one of these, but the Irukanji jellyfish can even sting you without actually touching you. These animals are small balls of stinging cells connected by a sticky network of mucus. Sometimes these jellyfish detach small bits of their body in the sea. Their sting isn't as dangerous as other venomous creatures, but when the water starts to sting, that's when you know it's them in action. The upside down jellyfish do all of this just to get some brine shrimp in their mouths, even though that's not their main source of food. They actually have algae inside of them, which is why they float upside down to give some sunlight to that algae. Another creature that is too cute to not squish is the slow loris. With their wide eyes and small size, you'll definitely have to think twice before getting near them. Scientists aren't really sure why these primates have venom, but a study shows that it's just to fight each other, not to defend against other species. They have glands under their armpits that ooze noxious oil. Once they mix that with their saliva, it turns into venom. Right after that, the venom fills into their grooved canines, and once they bite you, the venom is strong enough to rot your flesh. Some of the slow lorises have been seen with half of their faces melted off, which is enough to convince you to stay away from them. 
Next up, these colorful slugs might look like they belong in a petting zoo, but you'll be glad that they're not found anywhere in aquariums. Their bright blue color helps them camouflage. They aren't venomous themselves. In fact, when they feed on their favorite prey, they keep their stinging nematocysts produced by the Portuguese man of war's venomous tentacles. The stinging cells are stored and then concentrated for the future. As soon as the blue glaucus is touched or even slightly threatened, they release all of the venomous stinging cells at once. Since these animals are nudie branches, they usually get their venom from whatever they eat. Another creature that kids love to touch and poke around with is caterpillars. When the caterpillars look so intriguing, you can't even blame the kids. The larva of the southern flannel moth looks like a little fuzzball, but even the slightest brush against this insect can cause excruciating pain. That's because the caterpillar's fur has hidden toxic spikes that stick to your skin. The shining sensation starts off with an intense burning pain right off the bat. Then a rash will form. Slowly, the victim might experience vomiting, fever, and even muscle cramps. From then onwards, it only gets worse. The only thing you can do to prevent this from happening is to avoid touching any random critter you see in your garden, but especially keep your pets away. Perry, is that you? These mammals are one of the few creatures that produce venom in their own venom glands. They have hollow spurs on their hind legs that get filled up with venom, mostly during mating season. Most of their venom is used to fight other males as a show of dominance. Moreover, their venom is only produced during mating seasons, but a regular human can't be sure when platypus mating season ends or begins. The thing about their venom is that it's not fatal to humans, but it still causes a lot of pain that can last up to hours. As for smaller animals, it can kill them, and we can tell you that it won't be a painless death. All right, comment below which of these animals intrigued you the most, and tell us below about any that we missed. Oh, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to TrendJoint, and hit that bell icon for more. See you around!